Shalom, everybody, and welcome to a very special edition of Rabbi Ian 3, brought to you, as always, by Maor DC. Why is it a special edition of Rabbi Ian 3? Because it's the last one of the Jewish calendar year, the last Shabbos of the year. We're approaching Rosh Hashanah this Sunday night, God willing. So we need something special from me, stirring words, inspiring words that are Appropriate for such a stirring and inspiring festival as Rosh Hashanah, the portal of the new year, so filled with potential and promise. Well, we don't have to worry. Don't rely on me. Rely on the Torah, because we always read the incredible Torah portion of Nitzavim right before Rosh Hashanah, in the, at the, towards the end of the book of Deuteronomy. And Moshe Rabbeinu Moses, on the last day of his life, says to the assembled Jewish people some very inspiring words, which have a connection to Rosh Hashanah, which is always coming up right after this Torah portion is read. See, Moshe says, I have placed before you today the life and the good and the death and the evil. Life and good on one side, death and evil. And a little further down, I call heaven and earth today to bear witness against you. What could be more stirring than those words? I have placed life and death before you. Hachayim v'amaves nasati lefanecha. Hachayim, life, maves, death. I place before you bracha v'klala, a blessing and a curse. Uvacharta v'chayim. You shall choose life. Stirring words, but what do they mean? Choose life. I mean, does life something that's chosen? We're alive. And even if you say, okay, choose, but who wouldn't choose life? So it's either doesn't make sense or it's non or nonsensical. That didn't make sense. Okay, what does it mean? No, because he doesn't mean existence. Existence just happens, thank God, and we're happy that we exist, right? It means choosing a meaningful life, a life that can be truly called chayim, a life of connection, a life of spiritual growth, of spiritual aspiration. And we know that Moshe means that, because if you look a little further, I left out some words. After he says, I place life and death before you, choose life to love Hashem your God, to listen to his voice, and to cleave to him. Life is found in connecting to the ways, the mitzvot, the commandments of the Torah, and the ideals and the values of the Torah. Life truly means living with a purpose, with a higher purpose than just eating and drinking and existing, though we like those things too. And of course, in Rosh Hashanah, we pray for a good, sweet life of existence in this world, but that's not all we're asking for. That's not the essence of what we're asking for. What, another year to eat more kosher hamburgers? Sounds good, but a life of spiritual growth, of purpose, of connecting to God. Now you might say, is that the purpose of life according to Judaism? I always learned it was tikkun olam, repairing the world, right? You know where tikkun olam comes from? A prayer we say on Rosh Hashanah called Aleinu. And the exact words we say are letakin olam b'malchut shaddai, to rectify or repair the world under the kingship of God. That's tikkun olam, whether it means our own individual lives or the world to elevate the world by connecting it to its source, to Hashem, and to the beautiful commandments of the Torah that he gave us. That's true life. And that life is what we're asking for on Rosh Hashanah and what we long for, every one of us. Zachreinu l'chayim, remember us for life. But we have to choose that perspective. It doesn't just happen. Yes, again, we want life of blessing and sweetness and apples and honey, but we have to choose something more meaningful. We're, I don't say we have to, we're given the choice. Choose life, meaningful life of growth. Have a wonderful Shabbos and a happy Rosh Hashanah.